Hi everyone, my name is Jess and today we're going to sit down with Larissa Lizniak who is a senior manager at Dell managing the technical sellers in Ontario and I cannot wait for you to get to know her alongside me and let me tell you she is hiring so let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. And let's just dive right into this. Today, I have Larissa Lizniak. She is a senior manager here at Dell, leading the technical sales resources. Uh, welcome, Larissa. Thank you. Good to be here. Awesome. So I think we'll get started by asking you just to introduce yourself, maybe three to, let's say, three minutes. Tell us about yourself. Absolutely. So as, Je as Jessica mentioned, my name is Larissa Lizniak. I'm a technical sales manager at Dell Technologies. I have started my journey here about 16 years ago. I started as a fairly junior temp associate sales rep, and I worked through various levels and divisions and sales roles. The last six years have been spent in a leadership capacity. And currently, I have a team of technical sales representatives or we also refer to them as inside sales specialists. And uh, we look after medium business customers in Ontario region. Awesome. All right. Um, and I wanted to have you on the channel. I know that you're frequently hiring, if not today hiring. What are the types of people that you are looking for? Absolutely. We do actually have an opening right now. We've been expanding a fair bit um, in the last few months. So what we're looking for is um, technical and sales acumen. Um, our representatives are looking after data center um, sales, so mostly uh, servers, storage, networking. So technical acumen is important as uh, we are the specialists where customers rely on us to provide those solutions. Um, sales acumen is another skill that we're looking for. However, we do provide a ton of training. So if you currently don't have all of the skills already, that's okay. As long as the will is there, as long as you bring the energy and desire to learn, we provide the training. Yeah. And I remember uh, my first time joining the VMware organization. I didn't really know where to start. I didn't, I didn't really know the ins and outs of VMware and yeah, I can, I can tell everyone that's watching, you do get a lot of training. I'm wondering if anyone's in school right now, Larissa, is there is there certain programs that could prepare them for this? Is there is there some university or college courses that stand out when you're looking on a resume? Or um, so anything really matter? anything engineering computer related helps. Uh, we do have an amazing program where we hire students straight out of university, and we provide 13 weeks of training where we train them on all of our products and services on tools, on sales strategies and acumen. Um, so it's 13 weeks of intense training, all day training that they get. So when they do start the on the job, they're ready to go. Right. Yeah, that's, uh, I think we talked about that program a couple months ago on this channel. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link it somewhere here. Uh, I, I know as a, a fellow person that is always hiring and looking through resumes, I mean, you get a lot of resumes. How do you choose and like, how does someone stand out on, on a resume for you? So there's a few things that I look for um, in the resume is relevant skill set. So again, anything that has to do with IT industry or sales and or sales, it has to be concise, right? Like, so preferably one to two pages. Um, right. Attention to detail. If there's a photograph that always helps to connect name to the face. So that all, always helps. Right. Yeah, I, I agree. I know there was always questions. Do I add a photo? Do I not? It's, it's helpful. Doesn't matter what the photo looks like. It's just helpful to see who am I going to be talking to in an interview. And uh, I like that. Very concise. Absolutely. It, it makes it a person versus just a piece of paper. And now I'm like, okay, this is a person. I'd like to talk to them because I can connect with them better when there's a picture. Yep, absolutely. Um, and, and I know there's, there's been so many changes in the industry over the last two years, people from moving from hospitality, hotel, uh, restaurant business. Um, I'm sure you didn't start 
your, uh, your, your dreams going into technology. Why, uh, why technology? How did you, you know, how, why, why Dell? How did you get, get here? So, um, technology and I, we actually go way back. So my first okay. job when I moved to Canada was technical support representative. Um, uh. I was around 20 years old when we moved here. So I was on the phone helping people fix their computer problems. My father, so I'm originally from Ukraine and my dad had a computer business in, in Ukraine. So um, I grew up with him actually building a motherboard wow. from scratch and making a computer. So I kind of always lived with it in the house. And at the time, most households in Ukraine didn't have a computer and my, my father had that business selling it to businesses, right, and software. So I've always been around it. And um, Adele, a friend worked here and at the time I was looking for a job and uh, that's how I ended up here. Certainly wasn't expecting to stay here for, for this long or, or make it into the career. But once I landed here, um, I fell in love with the culture, with the people. I saw a clear career path and opportunities that I haven't seen before. I had no idea. I, maybe I missed uh, missed your story. I didn't know your your dad had a computer company. That is really cool, and I think that's a big reason why we see women coming into technology is they they grew up around it, and it wasn't uh, it, you know you had the opportunity to see a computer and be interested in that. So I think that's 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 a really cool story. I I had no idea, um, and. And being a woman in technology, it can be uh, sometimes lonely, right? Like we, we, uh, we're a rare breed. I know more and more women are coming into this industry, which is exciting. Any advice for uh, a new female coming into this industry? Absolutely. So it can be intimidating, especially going into more technical roles for women. Um, we tend to doubt ourselves and thinking that we can't do it. Um, the advice would be realizing that nobody is born knowing how data center works. Everyone that is currently on my team had to learn it. So as long as you have that tendency to enjoy learning and enjoy learning about technology, we can train you. Um, if that's something that interests you, have faith in your own abilities to learn. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, I can't say that that enough. If you have the will and desire, um, I mean, practice makes perfect. I am constantly learning. The industry is constantly changing. So I don't think someone that has always 20 years of experience on top of someone is, is always going to be the leader in the, in the business. I, I think we just have to be adaptable. We have to constantly be learning and uh, it's ever changing, right? I mean, from when you started to where we are now, lots of changes in this industry. Completely different. And, and that's, yeah. that's another thing about IT industry. Um, it, it's never boring. There's always something new. So you are always learning. The life of a TSR technical sales rep um, is it, a life of constant learning. Yeah, and, and at the beginning, you mentioned your career path and you, you started as a temporary seller at Dell, I guess. Is yeah. what you were saying. I think I caught that. Um, what would you, any advice that you would tell, you know, someone that's also maybe starting as a, a temporary seller at Dell or temporary anywhere? Any, any career advice for those people? Um, well, there's a few. How much time do we have? <laughs> as much as you want. <laughs> um, so... First, networking is big, right? So finding champions, some, finding someone that believes in you and helping you, um, mentoring you is important. Getting your name and your brand out there, um, but also thinking about your career as a long journey. When I first started, I had no idea one day I would end up being here. Um, I, I would never even dream of it. So it, it was due to some amazing people that I met who you know, planted those seeds. What about this role? What about that role? And uh, that's how it all happened. But if you think about your career as a journey, so where you are today, it's yep. just a start, right? So you, will, you don't necessarily have to have all of those skills already. If you have a dream job of being the, the president of the company, again, nobody's born that way. You get there by picking up and, and learning and developing. So um, thinking about long-term, having the vision for yourself, th thinking big, dreaming big, yep. right? And yep. uh, get in there over time but networking is a big one for sure it, it definitely helps networking is is massive and you said you 
got to Dell from a network. Um, I also got, got to Dell from networking at like a fishing trade show, uh, <laughs> which is really random, but I think people need to leverage their networks. They, they need to think of every connection could open a door for you. Doesn't matter where you are. I mean, fishing trade show of all places got me the job where I'm in now. Is I didn't that, know you were into fishing, Jess. I love fishing. Yeah. Why didn't we go on? Well, day? we're gonna have to go. <laughs> Maybe uh, we'll make a secondary uh, fishing video. I, I absolutely love, love it. It's it's fun and uh, yeah. So every every network is can be a meaningful connection, uh, and you never know who you're going to meet. So that's that's huge advice. Um, the last last question I have is we we do have a lot of uh, male viewers over 50% of people watching are male uh, most likely trying to get into this industry or already are in this industry any um, any you want to say anything that would maybe uh, inspire them to to be uh, an ally for women in this industry and um, I'm putting it, you on the it, spot with that question yeah, a, little bit, a little bit that's okay though um, we need allies right? Because women alone cannot change the world. We cannot change the biases. We cannot change it. So it takes all of us working together. So it's understanding that it exists yep. and, uh, you know, thinking about your own and then becoming a supporter, speaking up when you see it, when women are not present, right? So we can speak up when we're there, yep. but if there's no women in the room and you hear something that is not right, that's when you speak up and that's when you're our ally and that's how we change things. Absolutely. I, I agree. And uh, I think that goes for, for everyone, uh, women or men. I think you always need to speak up if you don't see something that is, uh, is correct. Uh, all right. Well, any, uh, any last things that uh, you want to leave our viewers with? I um, just want to thank you for ha having me here. And I um, wanted to leave this with, um, it, with thinking about interviews. When you prepare for the interview, um, one of the things that stands out to me that you can certainly do is how prepared you are, right? So did you do your research? If you're applying for the company, learn about the company's values. What are they all about? So when I'm asking you why Dell, I don't hear just, oh, I have a Dell laptop and it's a great product. <laughs> Talk about the company, right? Oh, yes. you would be surprised how often I hear that, right? I hear it and, too. And bring the energy. So yeah. especially when you're going for a sales role, sometimes I look for that. Well, often, all the, always, I should say, I look for that energy. Yep. The, the skills in the background is important, but if the energy is low and if I can't connect with a candidate, I'm thinking, well, how are they going to connect with customers? Is this the energy yes. they're going to bring to those customer meetings if they can't even bring the energy to the interview. So energy is very, very important to me. So how yes. prepared you are, do the yep. research and bring the energy. Yeah, and it's surprising how many people get, you know, get stumble across why Dell or why do you want to work here? Um, that is, I think, a question that you'll always ask in an interview, at least I do. Often, and often, I, yeah. often, and I frequently hear, well, I mean, why not Dell? And then I go, well, that's not really saying anything. That's just giving me the same question back. I know why I work at Dell and I know why Dell is number one for me, but I, it, it's so good to hear that you've done research and, and you really know why uh, you want to work at, at a company. So that's, and, that's and great advice. And it's honestly, it doesn't take long at all. Like Google yeah. Dell, see what's in the news about us. Go <laughs> on our website, look at our, you know, mission statement, et cetera. Read mission. Michael's new book, That's right? It. There's a plug. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't, take, doesn't take very long to, to, to learn about these things. So it's little yes. effort, but it goes a long way. Absolutely. Yeah, I, uh, I recently had an interview for, for the job I'm in. And that, that was a, a question. Even, even at this point in my career, that question did come up. So I'm happy I knew, I knew why I wanted to uh, continue to work at Dell. But anyone that's watching, prepare, prepare, prepare. I can't tell you enough. This is your career and it's so important to, to do that. Um, and on that note, Larissa is hiring. I would look out for her LinkedIn post. You can find her on LinkedIn. She typically talks about uh, what her team values are. She's posting regularly on, uh, I think, videos that your team has made, which are, are, are incredible. 
so you can get a little glimpse of, of what type of leader Larissa is. And if you want to work for her, I would strongly suggest you go apply for her opening recs. And if you're watching this video months later, I believe she's always looking for strong candidates. So don't don't be shy to reach out directly to her on LinkedIn and I'll I'll link it somewhere below here. And thank you again, Larissa, for participating in this interview. I had a lot of fun on uh, on this lovely morning and hopefully we can do it again in the, in the future. So love it. Thank you for having me, Jess. Thank you. All right, everyone. If you like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up and I will see you next Monday. Take care. <laughs>